so today we're going to be doing a boom, 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 Harry Potter nail inspired um, nail inspired nail inspired tutorial and I'm currently reading rereading the series and I'm on the second book right now and I love it I'm so excited so anyways um at what my basic idea in my little head is to present each house of Hogwarts on my nails so the base colors that I have on my nails are this Revlon minted color in the number 85 and it's actually called minted um I got this from Payless but it's in the brand Unforgettable Moments in the color Raspberry Brulee and it's just a red. I also have, sorry I'm like trying to find the colors, this yellow by Charlotte Russe. It doesn't really have a, um, a color, it's just a yellow from Charlotte Russe. And then I also have this bronze copper color from Clean Color. Yeah, from Clean Color in the color copper and I know I'm sorry my camera is out of focus but sorry so the top coat that I'm using is Sally Hansen's double duty base and top coat and then the color that I have on my thumb is white in the number 050 called white on white by Revlon as well and then I'm going to be using this Milani nail art in black sketch and this dude blue by Milani as well and last but not least I'm also going to be using a few nail art brushes here they are um, whoops a few nail art brushes um, I'm not really sure which I'm gonna be using yet um, but yeah if you continue watching this video I guess you'll find out which ones I end up using so let's get started um you're gonna want to paint your nails in with these colors but in any order you want i am a huge gryffindor fan as maybe a lot of you out there are as well so i wanted gryffindor on my ring finger i can't move this finger without moving there we go i wanted gryffindor on my ring finger as like you know the typical accent finger and then the minted one is slytherin the bronze is ravenclaw and the yellow is hufflepuff so yeah, paint your nails like that and add a t uh, top coat as well because if you mess up like with any designs that I'm going to do, um, you can easily brush off the nail polish on top and not worry about losing the base coat on the bottom. So once that is completely dry, you can, you can continue the rest of this tutorial. So starting off with my pinky just because that's the closest one to you guys. Um, I'm gonna be taking the Raven, the Ravenclaw, the Hufflepuff colors are yellow and black. Just trying to take off just enough to get a really thin point, um, but not a, not so much that there's barely any product on here. Just kind of tap off, so it's gonna kind of look like that. And then my idea that I have in mind is basically doing diagonal lines like this. My boyfriend was like, that looks like a race car, like, sh car thing. But I was like, it's only because it's yellow and black. So you're just going to take it and draw a line all the way up to here. And connect it with this one. Like that. So then, now the goal is to make them align like this one. Because I had to take it off because it didn't align. So, let's see. But yeah, so it should look something like that. Let me back away so maybe it'll focus a little bit better. And then I went ahead and did the H. As you can see, H for Hufflepuff. And basically what you're going to try to do is two J's on both sides. And then a stick to connect them. Just to kind of make it a little bit more fancy. So... 
I'm a lefty, so this is going to be really hard for me. But let's see if I can do it on camera and not get, like, screwed up. And I'm usually, like, my right hand, my, sorry, this hand usually tends to come out a little bit better than the other hand. Because I tend to be, like, super careful. I'm, like, scared right now. Anyways, um, so just kind of, like, make the loop. No, I want to do it down here. Like that. And remember you don't want it too high and then just kind of do the same thing on the other side and then do the loop as well damn it see this is why you need top coats And then connect it. And then if you want, you can make it thicker too. Thicker and darker. I think I cleaned that up pretty well, don't you guys think? Since Slytherin is black as well, I'm just gonna, I might as well just do that one too since I have the black out. So it's basically going to be the same design except with the letter S on it. So. racer track lines like my boyfriend said and then just kind of like find the center and then just draw into it and then for the S I'm gonna try to keep with like the swirly theme going on. We're going to take it, can you see me? A little bit farther away. Okay, we're going to take it and then you can either do the loop first or not. I like to do the loop first. And I honestly don't know how I do this. Like, I can't tell you, oh, do this and then do this. Like, it just comes out miraculously. I'm going to cheat this one out, guys, and just get some nail polish remover and take that out. <laughs> Sorry. We'll see how it looks. So now that we got that little situation taken care of, um, we can move on to Ravenclaw. And you're going to need the blue one for this one. Any blue will do. Just kind of, this isn't a nail art, so I'm just going to kind of take this off. Wipe it down really well. And then take one of my nail art brushes, if I could find them. Long one, similar to the one that you would find in a nail art brush. Maybe not as super long. And just 
dip it directly into the blue. I guess I've used a lot of this because it's like all the way down there. And then this is Ravenclaw, so we're going to do an R. Hopefully an R is easy enough. So we're going to do a stick and then a U shape. I can get like enough color to stay on the brush to do it. And then another stick. And if you don't like like the loopy things that I'm trying to go for, you can just stop right there. I want to add the wispiness to it. So what I'm basically going to do, can you see me all the way over here? What I'm basically going to do is just kind of take it and go like that. That's it. Nice and simple. And then, because the R is pretty hard. So, yeah. So now I'm just going to clean off this brush and be right back. Now moving on to... Gryffindor. You're going to need a yellow. I'm going to be using Charlotte Russe's yellow, like I said. So then for the thumb, I hope my camera doesn't die because it's on low battery. You're, we're going to be doing the Deathly Hallows symbol. So you can either do the circle first or the triangle. I'm going to do the circle. Just because I think it's harder. And I'm basically just going to try to do two C's and then connect them. So after you get that circle done, you're going to draw a triangle around the circle. Not around the circle, but almost like touching the circle. So I'm going to start with the base of it first. And then connect it up at the top. Angle's weird. And then you're going to draw a line straight down the middle. And that's the Deathly Hallows. This is Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and the Deathly Hallows. And then Deathly Hallows, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Gryffindor, and Hufflepuff. So I hope you like it. And let me know what you guys think about it and your opinion. And until next time, bye.